Hello, I'm Mark Baer. I'm your host of the Your Town Television program. My guest this morning, Salvador Munoz. Welcome. So let's let's start. Um, you're an architect. You're an urban planner. Let let let's let's tell people a little bit about yourself. Uh, I, I am an architect who arrived in, the, the, in Salinas in middle uh, 85, 1985, and I got involved in, I was working in the Silicon Valley doing a lot of high-tech buildings. I wanted to make a change, and I wanted to get away from the traffic, so I went to a, a more uh, urban area, you know, open space, rural area. And I got involved with the city trying to promote uh, open spaces for, for, for human expression and sort of like have spaces for what I call the therapeutic space, ur uh, social urban spaces. Yes. So, so uh, the, the, way the, the way that um, Salinas was designed, especially the downtown, there was no... It didn't have a footprint for urban space, particularly. Well, I mean, I mean for for it, for open public spaces. What exactly. I should say, I'm sorry. It's, it's very uh, built. Uh, there is a notion of asphalt. There is no uh, public gathering spaces. I would like to see uh, what I call green oasis, social oasis, so people can, especially the arts, where we where you have craftsmen, painters. Uh, musicians, and uh, we have uh, great artists in the area where they do murals and do paintings and do all kinds of things, but there is no spaces for urban expression, for urban art expression. What does it, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not only a, this is not only a, a good idea from just a, a human level, mm -hmm. but it's a good business level. It's a good business model. Uh, the arts bring a strong economy to a to a to a city. Yes. Uh, let, let's talk about let's just talk about it in economic terms with this brings. In any cultural or arts uh, event brings a lot of uh, economic development to everybody, especially businesses. Uh, like like all town Salinas, He's been struggling uh, to, to revive the 1940s, 1950s, that they used to be, uh, it looked like, uh, like San Francisco, lots of people. And, and then somebody modernized the old town. They tried to, they, they supposedly was to attract the people from the peninsula. And, and it backfired, and it became almost like a ghost town. Even today, there is, close to 200,000 square feet of unleased space. I'm talking, uh, you know, from, uh, from Blanco all the way to the Steinbeck Center. It, uh, there is a lot of space on the second floor and some on the ground floor that is unleased. And, it's, uh, and, and we need to revive all those. And, and it, it's being re resurrected a renaissance of the old town because uh, of the theater, the Maya theater, and the cafes and restaurants that now that are attracting people. But we need more of that. What we need is open space where people can gather and be uh, uh, a place to meet. Uh, we don't hear the birds on the trees because there is no space for that. In a lot of places like Carmel, you can see uh, it's an oasis, a place where you can go there and, and read and and they, and they have uh, arts events like in May where they have all the painters, you know, they start doing uh, the contest of painting uh, around Carmel and so forth. And Salinas does not have that. So let's talk about um, s places where it worked, wh where, where this has worked, where it didn't exist and it, now it does <laughs> exist. Watsonville, for example. As an example, you know, nearby is Watsonville, okay. which has a plaza and, and it's a magnet for people to meet. And they have uh, music at the, at the kiosk, we call the kiosk or bandstand. There is, there is um, monuments, sculptures, uh, fountains, and lots of benches where people can just sit down and hang around. Because uh, I see those as being a therapeutic, social, cultural spaces 
for, for, for the whole community. And there is a, an adjacent site, which is about 150 by 160. And it's, it's, an, it's like another square, and it's a future for a mixed-use building. Meanwhile, there is a beautiful blank wall that they painted a mural. And there are benches, and there is nice uh, trees, and you can sit down and, and, and look at this beautiful space instead of having a blank wall with nothingness. And sometimes we see this tagging and everything. And in there, when, once you have a, something that uh, creates a positive image of the community, people respect, and they don't tag it. Uh, I know we're, we're both friends of uh, Jose Ortiz's, uh, uh, the, uh, the, the muralist from yes. uh, Salinas, who uh, has brought this tradition from uh, Mexico of where it's not, these, these murals are not simply decorative. They're really inform mm -hmm. the, 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 the civilry, the, the population. Yes. And uh, they're, they're important and they, 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 they spread the, the news and they create the, the vibe, but you need a place to uh, be able to then take it in. Yes. Uh, it, it, it makes you you know, it, it's as if you really live where you live. It, yes. it, it, you, you know, it, it creates something powerful. Yeah, they uh, identify a time and place yes. in their in the community or in history. But one of the ones that I admired, uh, one of the Jose's murals, is in the Natividad Community Hospital. Mm -hmm. Yes, which is like uh, fifty to sixty feet long uh, mural. Uh, what describes the the the, uh, the creation, and and what a hospital does to bring people to life, and and it starts from conception, as being with a zygote and becomes a baby, and then is 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 educating and becoming a doctor, and 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 it's inspiring. So what I uh, and and going back to this Mexican tradition mm -hmm. um, is the zocalo. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the public park, yes, and and th they don't have to be big, but they're and, and Carmel does this very well. Mm -hmm. Carmel has parks everywhere and green yes, spaces yes. And, and places for uh, people to walk and sit. And so, how how heavy of a lift a lift is that when uh, the city isn't originally designed like that? When you have to really tr uh, transfigure the city, and this is what you're up against. <clears throat> well, it has to be a drastic urban uh, renewal. Uh -huh. uh, the city fathers have to get together. It will be nice. That has been done in many cities, like in Paris, Mexico City, London, places like that where they uh, make a urban renewal, like Napoleon, who, who redesigned Paris. We have in these boulevards and monuments and, uh, and uh, which shows the greatness of civilization at that period of time, which we enjoy today. And the city of Salinas uh, needs something like that because we got to put a heart to the city. Yes. There is no lung, a green lung in the city like we have in Manhattan, where you see the, the Grand Central Park, or in, or in San Francisco, we have the Golden Gate you know, Park. Uh, where you congregate cultures, uh, museums, it's a human expression in nature where we marry uh, society so you can get out of work of your home and be transformed and be with nature. What, what, do, what do the arts bring to a community? I, I mean, one of the <clears throat> things that, that you're talking about that's really interesting to me is artists having studios and being mm -hmm. able to live in their studios mm -hmm. and, and uh, <coughs> Possibly even being able to uh, to sell out of their studio so that they can actually um, you know make a living. Uh, what does that bring to a community? What do the arts bring? The arts brings a lot of uh, economic development. Any activity, any cultural, social cultural activity brings uh, being a lot of economic development to the businesses surrounding that space. Uh -huh. um, when I was the, President of the Cultural Council of Murray County, we make studies and we ask, uh, study, we found studies which create so much development, cultural and I mean economic development to the area, 
which is a great plus to have festivals. It's a great plus to have uh, these kinds of cultural events, like uh, the first night in Monterey and so forth. What, 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 what's, um, so, so, and let's talk about the city of uh, Salinas' 100th and, 150th anniversary. Yes. And so that's coming up, and this would be a good time to put some of this into action. What are the, um, who's, on, who's for you, and, and what are the, what's the difficulty of this, and how, do, how mm. does this come about? Well, um, Dennis Donahue ex-mayor of Salinas. He's one of a, of a, I see him as a beacon, as an inspiration to try to do something for the city. And um, I developed with him uh, what I call the magical village, with, uh, which is in, uh, in Card Lake over there in, 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 uh, in Salinas, which is right, right in the heart of the city. You can see uh, a beautiful f future um, uh, Grand Central uh, uh, Park and so forth. Uh, where the, uh, we design, we, we dream, because he says, imagine. That was Donahue's uh, expression, imagine. So I also imagine and ask for, uh, to have some information about the site and how to design a, uh, what I call a magical village, where we design different, di di different venues uh, showcasing all of the uh, social cultural uh, mix that we have in the Valley of Salinas. And, and, and it looks sort of like an Epcot Center, mm -hmm. where we use the lake that, that, we're, that will connect all of this all of these uh, thematic sites, and by using <coughs> sort of like uh, uh, Venice or Xochimilco in Mexico, and, and then you create uh, businesses and entertainment and living mi mi quarters. Mi so mi mixed use. It's uh, a very let's, mixed let's talk, use. It's sort of like a, yes. a little city uh -huh. where, where you showcase the whole the community and, the, and, and also the, uh, the, the agriculture, the wine industry, and 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 in each in each section, it will be urb urban and architectural uh, design of those particular makeup of the community, and it could become uh, a, a venue to bring people that passes through 101 and Highway One that do not stop in Salinas. Yes, Salinas <coughs> is part of our. You know, it plays agriculturally it plays such a central role in the whole country. Yes. Uh, especially in innovatively. It's a very innovative place. Technology, yes. it, it, it's, it's hooked up with, it, it's involved with Silicon Valley, and a lot of technology, especially in, in, in agriculture, is taking place there. Uh, mm -hmm. You have uh, a lot of artists there, a lot of, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of culture there. So it has the, and especially a city that um, has, I think, a lot of backing to really reinvent itself, to put its positive face on itself. And it has the, it has the, it, it can actually be what it says it is. In other words, mm -hmm. this, is, this is a change to be a, a, a creative center, to be a, an interesting urban center. Uh, Salinas has all the makings of doing something mm -hmm. great. I've been trying uh, to talk to the city and to try to incite all the agricultural businesses to, uh, to create a pride of place. Pride of place, yes, I like that. Because you gotta, if you make your money in the valley and you have the people who makes you where you are in the world as a leader of agriculture, uh, why don't invest in your city? Why don't you build and put your headquarters in the city and invest in the city? And I'm glad that uh, the, uh, the, uh, one of them is already have their headquarters right in front of the Steinbeck Center. Mm -hmm. and, and that is a, a great plus. 
but we need more of that. Can you imagine if, if they get at least four billion, let's say it's just four billion, and I've been suggesting, why don't you just invest 1% or 1% or, or 1%, <laughs> which is from four billion is a lot of money per year, to try to make the place a more attractive. And since we are in agriculture, agriculture, what is it? It's growth, it's vegetation, it's trees, it's vines, it's wine. Why don't create a place that we can show place, showcase everything that we do to the world and make some urban renewal in downtown Salinas so it can become that particular magnet what, 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 What's the resistance to this? Well, all of the uh, property owners that want to maximize their, uh, get the most from you know, what they have. But they don't see, I, I think it's sort of like a myopia, mm -hmm. but thinking that if we put some spaces like that, that I cannot get a one cent out of it, but we know for a fact when we do cultural, uh, social events, it becomes an economic development for all the surrounding areas. Mm -hmm. So everybody is a win-win situation. What Selena needs is these green spaces will be is a bonding agent, and to me is a therapeutic spaces, where the, the majority of the, its, its residents are from the Mexican heritage, where their parents grew up in even small towns. They have a town square. Every place has a town square. And it has a marketplace. It has their churches. It has the government spaces surrounded by this big open space, which in the beginning, it was used to be called uh, the, uh, oh, around the Presidio, like over here. Mm -hmm. uh, they used to call Plaza de Armas, which is the arms or the military square to show that they are uh, giving them security to all the villagers so they can grow in safety. And, uh, and then it became a social, religious, political, cultural space that we enjoy today. There you go. So um, I want to use these last seconds. Uh, mm -hmm. What's the time frame for this? Oh. <laughs> It all depends on the city fathers. It all depends on the businesses. It all depends on the cultural people. Uh, like in Salinas, they've been trying to create and, 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 and define Salinas as a cultural venue. And, uh, and, and I think the city fathers have to unite with the community and the chambers of commerce and city and, and uh, property owners, and they can make it possible. Okay. It's all possible. Let's, uh, it's, it's a big dream. Salvador Munoz. Thank mm -hmm. you for being here. Uh, Thank you, Mark. And uh, it, it's, uh, I can see this would be fabulous. I mean, there's, there, there's a lot of energy coalescing in Salinas to make it yes. great. And, uh, and you're part of that. So thank you so much. Thank you.